Shipwrecked Battle of the Islands. But this year it's tougher than ever. I thought it would be easier. Like I didn't know we wouldn't have matches. As the tribes go back to basics. I'm in the mood to kill some animals. I'm not a killer. I don't want to kill stuff. This is Alura. <laughs> it's different. That's all I can say. They'll be pitched against each other to win new arrivals. It's oh. Ready, ready. I'm staying here. If you don't like it, you go, innit? I just don't want to be here anymore. The new arrivals will become island leaders. No one's allowed to wear any clothes, no bikinis, no pants. <laughs> and impose their own island law. My island law is this. All the ladies are going to be the serving wenches. <laughs> Pushing the tribes to the limit. Bring you up are an incredibly disrespectful young lady. Already I'm finding her annoying. I can hear it snidey little comment. This might just be a game to you, but there are feelings involved. And at the final beach party, the tribes will discover the secret twist to this year's shipwreck. The £70,000 in prize money will not go to the winning island. It will go to just one person. Coming up, Sudi's arrival sends shockwaves through Tiger Camp. Already I'm finding her annoying, just the little things, and she's just not going to fit in here, I don't think. I can hear it's an ideal little comment people are making. I do feel like I can live on tigers. Well, she's there. Cracks start to appear in the shark tribe. Why should I move out? Why do you think that you're smarter than me? Because I do. Why? Why? You don't get to say because I do. That's not an answer. And tensions threaten to tear them apart. All right, Andrew, I'm not having a go at you. Andrew, the fire's gone out. No, just chill, just chill, guys. Things are like festering underneath the surface, and I just feel like it's a big volcano ready to explode. How many times did you look at that fire? Because when I came back, it was a pile of ash. Last time on Shipwrecked, two new arrivals made it to shore. Feisty graduate Lois Gray and car balloter Marcus Hafner. Hi, Lois. Nice, nice to meet you. Meet you. Marcus, nice to meet you, mate. On Tigers, a game of Cupid led to romance. On Sharks, a night of raunchy games got results. Oh my God, last night, Marcus and Sudi joined their sleeping bag together. Marcus and Lois made their decision. Sharks! Yeah! But in a cruel twist, the sharks chose only Lois, leaving Marcus out in the cold. This means you must now go. What? And join the tigers. Yeah! Prompting Sudi to drop a bombshell. Yes, I'd like to move. And follow Marcus over to tigers. With the beach party over, a second set of new arrivals checked in. 22-year-old engineering graduate Jack Taylor from Lincolnshire and 23-year-old London promos girl Della Tyler May. Each week, the new arrivals will become joint island leaders and will impose their own set of laws. After spending equal time with both tribes, they will choose one island as their home. The sharks head home, leaving new arrivals Jack and Della on Tiger Island. The new arrivals will have one day to observe the tribe before becoming joint island leaders and laying down island law. Um, how, how would your friends back home describe you? Life is all of the party, loves to just hang out and do as little work as possible, but in the camp here, I'm, I'm really hands-on, I've got loads of energy to burn, so I want to learn and build things and... Yeah. You've been saying that in a week. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've just graduated from Edinburgh, studying, uh, yeah, a pretty <laughs> awesome place. Um, studying mechanical engineering, which I absolutely loved. So I'm looking forward to getting here, building a lot of stuff, you know, hands-on, get involved and, uh, yeah, it'll be good fun. I have a bit of a crush on Jack. He's just hot. He is. He's not like anyone on here. He's different. I'm quite flirtatious when I meet people, when I'm around people. So if I do see a little bit of flirting back, I'll normally give it a go. So this is our palace. This is oh. where we sleep. 
Um, wow, did this you, is amazing. Did you make it all yourselves? Yeah, all the guys made it. Guys, this is amazing. <laughs> Look at all this waterproofing. Pretty good effort. Yeah. It's not bad, is it? So you get ready here? Yeah. yeah. Get changed here and then we can do our makeup, but you kind of, we have no mirrors, so you have to like just kind of know where your face is. Oh. And do, you, do you help each other out? Yeah, you can help each other yeah, out. Yeah, Because you look lovely, so you're fine. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Della's a really yeah. nice girl. She's um, come over here and she's really settled in really well, so yeah, we're really bonding. She's a really nice girl. This is yeah. toilet facilities. <laughs> and this is our toilet paper. Oh. Or you can just use that red t-shirt at the back. <laughs> Excuse me, that's mine. That's for my use only. Guys, this is amazing. Oh, I was gonna say. <laughs> no, this is an amazing. The this is the bar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, this, this is, is the bar. Awesome. I really didn't expect was, it to be as developed. As really it. impressed. You yeah. can make it better though. As a leader, I have stuff. a few little <laughs> tricks up my sleeve. <laughs> also new to Tiger Island is ex-shark Sudi, who followed yeah. Marcus over at last week's yeah. beach party. Tell me if I hurt you, or tell Get me. Get on if I... with it. Okay. Marcus is the only person I felt out of all the boys on the Sharks that I could really bond with and have a good friendship with. And Marcus was one of the reasons why I came over to Tigers, although I had been thinking of moving before that. He was kind of like the final push. They're going to put my name and Sudi's name quite close to each other for the rest of the experience, but they don't need to. We're two different people. She's eight years older than me, seven years older than me. Um, we just spoke well, and I think that's a good thing out here because to be able to speak to somebody in depth that you've never met in your life is a good thing. I think we'll have a good relationship when we get back. But not everyone's happy about their new tribe member. You know, I'm, I'm worried she's going to come in and feel like she's sort of ruling, you know, the camp. And I hear she can be quite argumentative and like things done her own way, which isn't really how we run here. Um, and the thing about accepting someone through nominations is that you know, they are now a tiger, like, we can't sort of ever get rid of them if we wanted to. How do you think you're going to fit in with our laid-back vibe here? I'm just going to be myself and do whatever I can. Do you think you'll enjoy our... I'm not going to, like, become, like all your personalities, I'm coming to be me and I've learned a lot about myself already. A lot of people are here because they feel like they need to learn about themselves, grow up and this and that and the other and I've noticed that. But I've been through it all already. Yeah, so I need to grow just up. Yeah, but you're only 26 years. I'm, I'm feeling very apprehensive that Sudi's here. One of the main things that I, I didn't like that much about Shark Camp was that it was very, very full on. Um, and I noticed an immediate difference when I came over to Tiger, so I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit apprehensive that she might have brought over that full onness and the intensity of, of Shark Camp. While Holly is unsure about Sudi's arrival, over on Sharks, her departure is still sinking in. What annoyed me most was the fact she didn't mention it. I know she might have done it spontaneously, but she could have easily gone, do you know what, I'm not going to make the decision today, yeah. I'm going to make it in next week. And she could have easily done that. She said she'd felt that way for three weeks, and I don't know about you, but I didn't see her missing it once. I, and I, think, I just find it cheeky in my mind that she's going to kind of... I think in her sense, it's kind of like, go over there, see if it's better, and not actually always come back. Yeah. Is there anyone who wouldn't want her back? I think I'd maybe prefer Island Life without her being here for the fact that I find her stories quite tiresome, that she always talks about herself constantly. I feel like... I hope she's happy is the main thing, but she was like my best friend here and I feel almost a bit like maybe there was something that I should have done or maybe I should have seen, seen it because I just didn't even see it come in. <laughs>